Mexican drug cartels recruiting teenage drug smugglers from inside Texas schools. The Texas Department of Public Safety has issued a formal warning for parents in schools. And we've heard a lot about how Austin police are fighting the ever-growing presence of Mexican drug cartels who are setting up shop, trafficking, and selling drugs in the city. But what we have not heard is the story from someone who's been on the inside until now. Talk to me just a little bit about your, your growing up. Normal childhood, involved in sports, athletics, activities, middle income, normal suburbia America. As plain and as regular as you could be. So what drew you in? Oh, the money and the life on the clout that goes with it. You walk in anywhere and you have the run of the place. They cater to your every need and whim. You're with who? Okay. This is Mark. He grew up in South Austin. Normal suburbia, he calls it. Went to college, waited tables, and in his 20s, he ran drugs for one of the oldest, largest, most profitable drug cartels in Mexico. A dangerous occupation that earned him a salary of $10,000 a week. How does a Mexican drug cartel blend in in Austin? I mean, do I look like what they look like? No. So they employ people, and it's not a hard business to employ people. Of course, if you haven't figured it out by now, Mark isn't his real name. And he doesn't want you to see his face or hear his voice. Because what he's talking about could get him killed. Which is part of the reason why he's sharing his story now. Nobody ever, ever shows you the, the downfalls or the, the hardships of it. What were some of the worst times? I would have to say the worst time was when, was when I first got involved with them uh, on an upper level. I made a decision to go to Mexico and seek them out. I got, in, got hooked up with uh, a certain group and was able to buy narcotics from them, bring them back to the U.S., and earn a substantial profit off of that. They held me for a couple of days. Um, I was tied to a chair in a barn and whipped repeatedly with a uh, wire cable, asking to get my connections on the phone with them for them. But um, in refusing to do so, more punishment was doled out. Did you think you would die in there? Oh, I thought that was it for sure. And that is just the beginning. We're going to share the complete story tonight on KXAN News at 6. You're going to learn how this normal guy from South Austin says he got involved with the Sinaloa drug cartel, how he smuggled drugs into the U.S. and distributed them right here in Central Texas, and how he ultimately got out of that life uh, and, and got onto something better, and why he's putting his life in danger now to talk about it. It's amazing to hear him say just blending in. Do I yeah. look like what you would think it would look like? And unfortunately, you can't see what he looks right. like, but... That's, he doesn't, doesn't look like he'd be... That's a life uh, at risk, though. Absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we'll look forward to that.